Hello everybody and welcome to your next XNA platformer tutorial. So we're going to continue where we left off. Now oh, we're going to delete some of the code that we had here. Uh, we'll delete one one part of the dictionary. Uh, it's simply because that was my method on handling it but I, I searched on the game state example because it's always good to look at code and I'm not going to copy their code. Uh, but their concept on how they did stuff was good. And what was their what was their concept? Their concept was that they load things when they need to load it, and they unload it when they don't need it anymore. And for a small game like what we might be making now, it's not it probably wouldn't matter. But for a larger game, it really does matter, and it's good to learn the proper. Uh, code syntax right so I'm gonna be teaching you that way now if you look at their game state example I think they go a bit overboard it will the complexity is good because it, it, it's really flexible but they go overboard like with the delicates and event systems and all that stuff but uh, it's up to you whether which one you want to follow but in this tutorial I'm just gonna be expanding out what we did last tutorial so first of all, uh, we can get rid of the dictionary. But what we want to do is we want to make the screen manager class a singleton. Now, for those of you who don't know what a singleton is, it makes one instance of the class and it basically makes all the public functions global. And because of the global state of of singletons and stuff, a lot of people hate it. If you search on Google or whatever, you say singletons are bad, blah, blah, blah. You'll see a whole bunch of posts of people just bashing singletons, etc., etc. Singletons are to be avoided if they can be avoided. But uh, it, it, I, to be honest, in this program setting, when we have the screen manager class, we only need one instance of it. And we do need some things to be global within it, right? And the things that we don't need global, we'll just leave them as private, okay? So uh, the singleton class is suitable for the situation. You can avoid it by just making a regular uh, class, but for this, uh, for this tutorial series, we'll make it a singleton. So how are we going to make the singleton? So for those of you who have never made one before, uh, what we're going to do is just have a, a private static screen manager, and we'll call it instance. Okay. And we'll just put screen manager instance so we know. Okay. So after we'll we'll get back to the the region the other stuff first, but what we really want to do is set up our singleton class. So we'll create another region. And for those of you who don't know what a region is, it just it's kind of so it encloses it, it encapsulates it. it it encapsulates it so uh, they're, they're in different sections so I'll name this properties and uh, end the region okay so this property we're going to have one public static screen manager instance and we're going to get the instance oh man I can't even type today okay so if and let me move this up so you can see better. So if instance is equal to null, then we set instance equal to a new screen manager instance and we return it. So with this method, we only make one copy of the class, okay, or one instance of the screen manager class, okay? And we're going to make a public uh, vector two dimensions. And we're going to have a get return dimensions and set. So, like, for some of you might be saying, like, why don't I just do it right here where I could just do get set? You can do that if you want to, but uh, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm just going to do it the original way for those of you who might be using an old version of C Sharp or whatever. Okay, so we got our, we got our, our stuff down. So what we're going to do is we want to have uh, I'll call these main methods and the region and we're going to have four main methods right so what we're gonna have is we're gonna have uh, initialize 
uh, we're going to have a load content and we're going to want to have actually we might not even need to put the content manager in there well we could well yeah but we're gonna have a update and lastly but not least we're gonna have a draw so some of you might be saying okay what's the point of a initialize method why not just have a constructor well the reason being is that with the initialize method we can call it any amount of times we want to when we have a constructor it only gets called when we create the object but we can't call it more than once so say we have to reset our values to default values we can just call the initialize method and it will reset the default values okay some of you could be saying you could have a separate function called reset, but initialize uh, will suit our needs. Okay, so uh, just to uh, just to show you how a singleton works, and maybe that will be the end of the tutorial. Uh, but yeah, so this is how the singleton is gonna work. So we, if we if when we're gonna initialize, you have to do screen manager dot our instance and then we have to just call our method name okay so what we're gonna wanna do is after that stuff what we're gonna wanna do is just say instance dimensions is equal to new vector 2 and set it to our screen within height so I'll, I'll say 800 by 600 after that we're gonna do graphics dot preferred back buffer width is equal to uh, we have to cast to an integer screen manager instance dot dimensions dot x and graphics dot preferred back buffer height is equal to int screen manager dot instance dot dimensions dot y and then we do graphics dot apply changes and everything is set so do you see how kind of cool and easy that was so we can access any of the public methods or public functions or whatever within the singleton class now um before i end this what we're going to do is maybe i'll make another uh region uh or it doesn't even matter i'll just make it in public methods so we're gonna have uh, a void called add screen okay so what add screen is going to do is it's gonna let us load and uh unload the screens uh whichever screens that we need uh, you could set this to uh, you could set this to set screen or add screen or whatever whatever you like to do. But uh, it, we're only gonna take one thing in the parameters um, and screen. Now, once we add a new screen, basically we want to add that to the top of our screen stack, okay? And we're also going to need two other new variables as well. Uh, so we're going to need a game screen the current screen and we're going to need another game screen called new screen okay so the current screen is going to be the screen that's currently be dis being displayed and the new screen is going to be the screen uh, the screen that's going to be overlapping the other screen or going to be at the top of the stack right we don't really need well, we don't really need this new screen variable. We could just take the sc top screen from the the top of the stack, but it's whatever it's for convenience, whatever you like. So in the update method, what we want to do is we just want to say current screen dot update. So we'll update the current screen in there, and for the draw, we're just gonna say that current screen dot draw now how like why how am I doing it like this right why am I doing it like this well remember how I said that the game screen is a kind of like an abstract class and everything inherits from it so the splash screen can be a game screen any other screen that inherits from the the game screen can be a game screen so for example say I want to transition from the splash screen to the title screen right I would put in the uh, where's the add screen? I'd put in the 
these uh the the new screen that i want to transition to in here and then i'll do my transition animation or whatever and then i'll transition to that and transition to the new screen and since they're all the game screen types then i can pass in any type that is inherited from the game screen and that's why we have that as a base class right there uh so what we want to do is this we're going to set uh new screen is equal to screen and screen dot stack no screen stack dot push and the screen so we really don't need this new screen right here since we're pushing it into the stack but I'm having this there just in case we have another function or whatever that pops that gets that deletes anything in the stack then we still have the new screen there for whatever reason right so even if you don't if you don't want this you can delete this from the code or whatever but we really don't uh, but we d you could use it you could not use it depends on what you, coding style you like but uh this is uh initial this is gonna be like the uh this is it for the screen state for now uh what we're gonna do in the next tutorial is that we're going to be building an animation class so we can transition from one screen to the other screen so we're gonna be setting up transitions and then we're gonna be finishing the screen state uh so that is it for the tutorial hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and bye